Hi fire signs, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your bonus reading for February 2019. General reading, insight to your secret message. Um, this is for uh, Leo Sag and Aries. So maybe if you did not resonate with your individual reading, maybe you will resonate with this or it could just be a bonus message for you if you did resonate with your reading. Um, so thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Please check the description box below for all information, decks I'm using, my email for personal readings, my Etsy page for personal readings. PayPal link is there for tips and donations. It's uh, greatly appreciated. So please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with everybody out there. Parts may, parts may not. So keep what resonates. Throw away what doesn't. We could pick up on past, present, or future energies, so please keep that in mind. Um, if you like how I read, if you're new, please like the videos. It's the only way they will get circulated around YouTube. Uh, comment. I love to read the comments. Subscribe. Once you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for when I post new readings. Uh, share. Share the hot content anywhere that you would like to share. Social media anywhere if this doesn't resonate you can check other signs in your chart um your moon sign rising sign jupiter sign your venus sign and uh cross watches are welcome so well if you're other than a fire sign watching for a fire sign then you're welcome to watch it might be for you actually so we'll keep that in mind so we're gonna get started here this this deck here we're going to get um we could get a planet a fellow sign or just another element to see what energy you guys may some of you guys may be dealing with if you're not dealing with the energy that is pulled or it does not resonate like i said throw it out don't even keep that so a few fire signs leo sag and aries what are they dealing with in their bonus general reading here and i feel like that card right there Let's see what we have jupiter wow i got this in the sagittarius reading and jupiter is the sign does represent the sign of sagittarius jupiter is ruled by sagittarius so this message could specifically be for a sagittarius or someone dealing with the sagittarius uh it's about faith hope to Faith, hope, optimism, joy, expansion, and growth, positivity. So, let's see here. This, this deck, this oracle deck here, we will get your bonus message with this oracle deck. This is the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. We'll see what your secret message is for your bonus reading. For the fire signs of Leo, Sag, and Aries, what is their bonus message for the rest of February 2019? We got two there. That's too many. I just want one. One card for the fire signs of Leo, Sag, and Aries. For the rest of February 2019. For their bonus reading, general reading, please. And I feel that one. Freya, I think that's how you say it. Bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. I think it's either Freya or Freja. Uh, let me see. In the book here. Let's see. Freya. Yep, I said it right. Don't play it safe right now. Instead, take a bold take bold action in the direction of your true heart's desire. Success comes not from timid timidity, but from committing yourself fully to realizing your dreams. Hold a clear intention of success and it shall come about. Enjoy the excitement of taking risks, of being bold, and of being daring. And be sure to celebrate your success with a party 
or by splurging on wonderful indulgence. Various meanings of this card. Take a risk. Make a bold life change. Appreciate your body. Flirt. Go have fun and celebrate. So that is a little bit about that card. So some of you guys have to unleash something. Take a risk and be daring to move forward and it's with something in your life. Maybe some new goal, ambition, drive, something. Uh, so we'll see here. This is the Gilded Tarot by Cheryl Marchetti. And I just love his decks. His decks are um, among some of my favorites. One more shuffle. All the decks have been pre-shuffled and cut and meditated on prior. Okay, I think it's telling me it's about time, but I just want to give one more. Okay, for the fire signs of Leo, Sag, and Aries, for this bonus message for them, for the rest of February 2019, Spirit, please, can we have about eight tarot cards? to clarify the situation for them. What are they going through? What do they need to know? What do they need insight to? What do they need inspiration for? What do they need guidance for? What do they need clarity for? For the fire signs of Leo Sagittarius spirit, please, if they're on that one. Ten of Swords, okay, so this is air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and this is something is complete. The 10 here, 10s of com our completion. Something's been at a loss for a long time. Something's been in ruins for a while, and something needs to end. Something needs to complete. It's like down for the count here. There's really no resurrection of the situation, but there is other things in life for you here because you have this deer here in the background so something needs to end something needs to complete or it is completing maybe something is completing for you and it's time to take a new risk in life be daring maybe some of you are a little scared or afraid or maybe you've just been waiting to unleash a certain side of you. Like maybe you've known this has been ending for a while now. And now you've been waiting to unleash your inner self, your truth. Your ambitions, your goals, your desires in life. Okay, Spirit, we have a few more cards here. Clarify for the fire signs of Leo, Sag, and Aries for the rest of February 2019 for their bonus reading for their secret message. What else do they need to know? Spirit, please. Hmm, they don't want to give me anything. I'm going to take from the top if I don't get anything. A feeling. Okay, these two came out. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So somebody's practicing their craft, uh, working hard, diligently. Five of Swords. This is uh, this is kind of like an ego card. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here with the Five of Swords. Defeat at all costs. Winning at any means, ego, ego kind of driven. Huh. Well, let's see before we read more into this. Get a few more cards here. The fire signs of Leo Sag and Aries. I was just looking at this fire card and how she has wings. It kind of looks like a butterfly. So maybe some sort of transformation has to take place or somebody's going through a transformational time in their life but with this I see growth and expansion like expanding yourself
maybe your faith, your spirituality, your inner knowing, your intuition. Okay. Risk be daring, letting out your inner beast there. Oh, it just looks like a cat, but... Page of Swords. Okay, a lot of ear energy here. So either you're dealing, could be dealing with an ear sign or you have a lot of ear in your chart or they have a lot of ear in their chart. But this is um, a message. Could be co communicating, um, emails, texts, social media, that kind of thing. Um, this also could mean somebody is looking at somebody else's social media, kind of like spying on them, seeing what they're up to, what are they doing. Um, or it can mean communication, like, of truth. Somebody could be watching somebody on social media, see what they're up to. Justice. Libra energy. Wow, a lot of air here. Major Arcana here with the Justice card. So this is uh, legality things. <sighs> justice system. Righting of wrongs. Balancing out the scales. Serving justice. Getting justice. So there's a Ten of Swords completion and then justice. So... Hmm. Just seeing how this Ten of Swords is right under the Justice card. So something is ending here that is serving you justice. That is bringing justice back into your life somehow. Okay, so let's get a few more cards. Why is the Justice card here? Well, I got three more, so... That's what I wanted. So now you have the Empress energy here. And this is another major arcana. So this is, um, she's sort of like the mother of the deck. She's loving, she's nurturing, she's caring. This can mean new growth. It can indicate, sometimes it can indicate pregnancy or birth, but it doesn't have to. Um, And then you have the Page of Wands. So we have two pages here. We have the Page of Swords, which can talk about a message of clear communication and truth and clarity. Or somebody could just be watching somebody online, keeping track of them online. Or just, you know, communication online. But then you have the Page of Wands here, and this is another message coming through. This could be an offer. This can be a message of an endeavor, an offer, an opportunity. It could be a passionate message because it's followed by the Ace of Cups, which is Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is divinely guided. It's from the heavens. It indicates new love. So... Uh, I feel like somebody knew there had to be an end to completion of something. It might have been something that was long term, whether it was a job, a relationship, whatever it was for you. You know, you put in the hard work, the time, the stability. Pentacles are slow. It's long lasting. It's over a long period of time. But then we have defeat at all costs. We have ego. This could be just you standing up for yourself and cutting out something in your life that was no longer serving you. It's like you already put in all the work and the effort and you just knew it just was no more. So now you're standing up for yourself, cutting the things out that no longer serve you at all. And you just don't care what other people think. And here's that sword energy again. Speaking your truth and clarity here with the Page of Swords. Doing your research. And getting justice. Serving justice. Coming out of something. Serving of papers, paperwork, the justice system. 
legal matters. And then you have the Empress. This is a motherly figure. And it almost feels like to me a man here serving divorce papers to their wife. I don't, I don't know. That's just the energy I'm getting. But then you have these passionate messages here towards an Ace of Cups, which could be somebody new. If it's not a relationship situation, it could be leaving a job situation and maybe going into a new one, but Hmm. I feel like I need to clarify. Can we get a few more cards? I feel like for the Justice and the Empress card, can we get one or two to clarify the situation for the fire signs? And I believe the Empress is... Uh, Taurus, I think. That's, well, three. Right, let's see what we have. The Page of Cups. Wow. So we a lot of messages here. Truth, clarity, passionate messages, now messages of love. Queen of Cups. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is someone who's loving, nurturing, caring, creative, intuitive. And then we have judgment. So this is about forgiveness. This is about second chances. Giving somebody from the past a second chance. Hmm. Let's see. The cards. Let me see the cards. I feel like just one more. I don't usually do this many cards. I usually do eight and maybe clarify with one or two, but I like to have equal energy here. So we're gonna pull one more to make it 12. One more card, please, for the fire signs. A Leo Sagittarius to clarify the situation. It's too many. One card. Not this one. Six of Cups. Wow. Spirit confirming here with the Judgment card, giving somebody from the past a second chance. And here we have Six of Cups, which speaks of someone from your past. Could be a past life person, a soulmate person, um, someone from your childhood that you went to school with, that you worked with. Nostalgia, memories, looking back. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Six of Swords. So this is traveling out of a situation that is no longer serving you. That could be what ended here with the Ten of Swords. Um, leaving a conflicting energy and unharmonious energy. And moving and sailing and leaving into calmer waters, more peaceful waters. So, wow, and underneath that, the Five of Pentacles. So that's about leaving somebody out in the cold. It could be about monetary too, lacking funds. So you have traveling into safer, calmer waters, leaving somebody out in the cold, leaving someone behind and setting out on a new journey here. With the two of wands and you see wow you see here how you have the completion and the new life with the deer and here's the the path deciding what path making the decision what path to go on and there's dare in the background here wow yep death of a situation something's definitely over here capricorn energy with the uh death no, that's Scorpio, sorry. 
Three of Cups. So reuniting again. Reuniting. Reuniting. Someone from the past. Given a second chance. Coming forward with the message of love to someone who is very loving, caring, and nurturing. With the new beginning here with the Ace of Cups. Passionate message. But I almost feel like this here is like separate from this energy here. I feel like something was done and complete that you worked hard on, that you spent a lot of time on, but then finally knowing it's the end here because you have the death card of the end and standing up in your truth, your clarity, speaking your truth, cutting out things that no longer serves you, justice, I mean, it could be divorce, it could be anything from a motherly figure. But then we have these other messages of love, passion, new beginning in love. Somebody who's more nurturing, loving, and caring. Giving someone a second chance, forgiving someone from the past. Reuniting with somebody. Setting on a new path, deciding which direction. Leaving that person out in the cold, leaving them behind because it's just the death of the situation setting forth on a new journey to a new more harmonious peaceful place moving very slowly with the knight of pentacles very hard working and slow moving but getting there slowly but surely so i mean this turned out to be i think a little bit of a relationship reading though i wanted to be a general reading if it's not about a relationship it could be any situation leaving it behind. I mean, hopefully it's not a legal matter. If it's not a divorce, some other le kind of legal matter, I, I don't know. Maybe you just need to do your income tax. I don't know. <laughs> That's, you know, has to do with legal matters. So maybe you need to do paperwork. You've been uh, putting aside, putting away. That, that could be maybe going back to school. Um, Anything that has to do with legal matters, paperwork, that sort of thing. So however it resonates for you. I got, you know, different storylines here. So, you know, you take it how it resonates, whatever your situation is. If it's not relationship or career, it could be something else. Um... Okay, so the bottom of the deck, we have quiet time. Takes, take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. I'm not sure how to say that name. Uh, let me look that up real quick. Sige, I guess. Sige. So maybe this is something you've spent a lot of time thinking about, planning, contemplating, meditating on, uh, resting about. I think I did see down below the night. No, that's the nine of swords. I thought I saw the four of swords. But yeah, I, I feel like, you know, you spent, or maybe this is just you spending so much time in the situation you feel like your inner self has been like tamed and like pushed down and quieted down but now it's time to be bold and unleash yourself from being tied down like being shushed all the time or you could have been thinking and contemplating over the situation on what to do but you've decided to move on in this situation staying optimistic having faith and hope wishing for happiness and joy taking risks being daring moving on to a new situation of some kind so fire signs that was your bonus reading for february 2019 i hope you enjoyed it i hope it resonated in some way Please comment if it did. Again, if you like how I read, please uh, subscribe, like, comment, share. Be greatly appreciated. 
Good luck to you on whatever journey you're setting out on. I wish the best of luck to you. Many light, love, and blessings. And don't forget to shine your light.